Across the globe, people are on the move. And it's happening in Morocco. People moving out of rural areas to cities, seeking a better way of life. But frequently, that is where the dream is put on hold. Reaching urban areas, they settle in an informal manner in areas that are then called informal settlements. As they are illegal, they are not eligible to reach access to services like water supply and sanitation. In the last few decades, new unplanned neighborhoods have grown around the main big cities and they are played with major problems of delays in connecting them with water and sanitation services. There were still 2 to 2.5 million citizens who did not have access to water and sanitation. This was really unacceptable given our goal for improving the living conditions of the populations. As cities like Casablanca, Tangiers, and Meknes continue to grow, Morocco's king in 2005 makes a decision. He creates the National Initiative for Human Development, which recognizes informal settlements and creates a framework for connecting them to basic services such as water and sanitation. The question is, how to do it and how to pay for it? In Morocco, one solution is Output-Based Aid, or OBA. OBA is an innovative mechanism that ties disbursement of public funding to the delivery of specific services or results. Morocco is testing OBA as a way to finance water and sanitation connections in three cities with service deficits. The Global Partnership on Output-Based Aid, a World Bank-administered program, has provided a grant for the project. For Morocco's water and sanitation providers, agreeing to OBA was a gamble because they would have to pre-finance the service and focus on delivering results rather than reaching contract milestones. The OBA only provides disbursement after everything has been laid down on the estimates that a great number of households in the given settlements are going to come out and request the connection. That's a big risk to take for an operator. But it's already paying off. Using OBA, local water and sanitation providers in Morocco, both private and public, have developed innovative ways to extend services into informal settlements. This is the village of Lamkensa on the edge of Casablanca. It is an informal settlement of more than 7,300 homes. Five years ago, Fatima Luada came to this place with her family. I moved to Lamkensa and I bought a piece of land. There was no water, no sanitation. Sometimes I would wake up in the morning and find no water at home. So I had to take my jerry cans and wait in line to get water from the well. For three years we lived like that and kept asking for water services. In 2007, the local water and sewer provider, Lidec, began connecting the settlements of Lamkensa with service using OBA financing. We heard that water services were being installed, but we didn't believe it. We started talking about it a lot, wondering, will the water services really be installed? You are here in a street of Lemkansa. So the first thing we did was to connect people to sanitation. Ingrid Pechel manages a team of 30 customer service representatives for Lidec. And today, she's getting a first-hand look at progress connecting Fatima's neighborhood in Lemkansa. Initially, most people are skeptical. 
They don't really believe that the services will come and they ask many questions, particularly how much it will cost them, because that's their main concern. Here in Lamkensa and across Morocco, informal settlers like Fatima are being connected to water and will become paying customers. That's where output-based aid comes in. What the OBS subsidy does is that it comes to uh, fill the gap between the affordable level that these households can pay and the real cost of extending services to these houses. The eligible households pay a reduced connection fee and can opt to pay it in installments. It was very thorough. The process was organized and all the partners took part in it, including, of course, the households, the inhabitants of the households. Today, I believe that this operation is a success. So does Fatima. When the first house in our neighborhood had water installed, we had a big party and shouted with gratitude for the water service. Thanks to God, water is a gift of God. We wake up in the morning, turn on the faucet and take a shower. Because of the water service, we no longer waste time. Now, when the kids would come back from school, the meals are ready for them. The pilot is a success in the flat, densely populated city of Casablanca. Casablanca is a massive city, but it's in flat grounds with reasonably easy uh, soil. So it's, it's relatively easy to dig and lay pipes. But not all of Morocco is like Casablanca. Almost 200 kilometers north is the steeply hilled city of Tangiers. Perched on the Straits of Gibraltar, just 15 kilometers from Spain. Can informal settlements really be connected to water and sewer at an affordable price in a place like this? Tangier is indeed very different from Casablanca. In Tangier, there are challenges linked to the technical aspects of extending services in a rocky and hilly area. But the imperative is the same. There are many poor neighborhoods that do not have access to these two vital services. Here, a private service provider called Amendis is charged with connecting 45,000 households, mostly in informal areas, using the OBA method. A number of so-called informal, under-equipped neighborhoods were growing quickly around the city. The will to equip them was there, but we had some problems. It was difficult to get the administrative authorizations to connect these informal settlements. Like Casablanca, Tangier has good municipal water quality. But not everyone here knows they can have access to it. During the construction phase, we began the public outreach. This is done through a mobile agency, which is a place of contact with the population. There, we present how to use water properly without wasting it. Also, we tell them all the various steps to be taken with Amendis. We collect the files on water and sanitation connections. We have a computer with database. We work in real time. So people can pay all their bills here, near their home. They don't have to go anywhere else. Amandis and other operators in the OBA pilot have taken responsibility for adapting their services to the specific needs of the target populations. They have had the courage nationally to be the ones piloting these approaches and taking the risks inherent to these approaches. That courage is being rewarded. In Morocco, informal residents have a higher rate of paying their water and sanitation bills on time than the general population. Before Amandis, Bini Magada was in a catastrophic condition regarding sanitation. But thank God, after Amandis took over, we tried and were able to solve these problems facing the district of Bni Magada. A 
About 300 kilometers from Tangiers is the ancient city of Meknes. It's been settled since the 10th century, and today settlers still come. This informal settlement on the outskirts of Meknes has many of the problems the OBA pilot program is aiming to solve. The residents here do not have access to water and sanitation services. The daily search for water is a burden. In the morning, I had to wait for my neighbors to wake up so I could fill my jerry cans. I did not feel free, I was dependent on them. You really miss water when you don't have it. This can lead to poor health and social conditions for residents. And in Meknes, a solution is underway. The local service provider here is a public company called Radem. So in the beginning, there was this community. People who lived there were getting their water from several sources. And then there were wells. During the periods of drought, we started having problems getting water from these wells. So we started to think about getting water from an alternative system. Radem's challenge is to join water and sanitation in an area where the population is more dispersed. In Meknes, it is different in that areas had already been uh, provided water services. Other areas had already been provided with sanitation services, but not necessarily the other service. So the major obstacle for people to connect to the water network was a financial problem. In Meknes, addressing how to finance this expansion of service is where the OBA pilot program fits in. And in the end, we figured out that, maybe, to save time, we had to work with procedures that were simpler, because in this project, what really matters are results. When the connections are made, the impact on residents is striking. Before, without water, it was difficult to plan. I felt doors were closed, but now everything became possible. When the water comes out the pipe inside the homes of people like Fatima, this is not the end of the story. That's because the connections and services must be verified independently. Mohamed Lapikrouf is an independent verification agent for the OBA pilot program. Today, he's verifying service connections in Fatima's neighborhood. So I have to make sure that the connection is made where it's supposed to be, that this location is in the project's area, and then that is done according to the norms and that the water and sanitation services provided are satisfactory. It's a very important moment when the IVA comes. There is a lot of fear. You know, who is this IVA? Is it a policeman? Is it somebody who is going to tell us that we don't do things right and therefore we're going to have no disbursement? Uh, or is it going to be somebody who is going to accompany us and somewhat help us in making sure that these things are done in the right way? I'm glad that in the case of this pilot, it's been the second. The OBA pilot has connected 52,000 Moroccans to water and sanitation services. And Morocco is now planning a nationwide scaling up for informal residents who still lack access to water and sanitation services using the OBA approach. OBA is a concept that has been tested. This concept was not imposed, but instead it was discussed, planned and tested from the start. The OBA approach and its main elements are things that can be easily adapted to what we intend to achieve in our strategy to catch up with the needs of these peri-urban neighborhoods. The World Bank, GPOBA, and their partners, such as the Public-Private Infrastructure Advisory Facility, PIAF, stand ready to support governments and public and private operators 
in their efforts to expand services to disadvantaged communities in Morocco and other countries. Among those who have already been connected, the evidence of better lives is easy to see. It's a very satisfying experience to come to an area when you get to see the before aspects, when you get to see wastewater flowing down in the middle of the street and people going with jerry cans of water and going on very steep slopes to reach their homes, to then see the same people who can actually start a small business or, or teach uh, children or organize community groups to improve their lives because they don't have to worry about that anymore. When people are connected with water and sanitation, houses become homes, settlements become neighborhoods, and economic opportunity can become a reality.